Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Cask and Q, or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're cooking backyard baby back ribs, so stick around. All right, today we're gonna be rocking some Zorstar Tumbleweed Fire Starters to get our, uh, our pit going. I like these, these are uh, all natural, just pretty much wood and wax. And then we're gonna be using some uh, Weber cherry wood chunks. We're gonna be cooking on the Blades Kamado today. I went ahead and placed a couple of those chunks in there to get us started. Not chunks, but tumbleweeds. Easy to start, as you see. That's one thing I like about these guys too. You don't have to mess with it too much. There you go. And we'll get a couple chunks of this cherry wood. Good fish size chunk there. Put that off to the side, like so and we'll do one more on the other side, just like that. All right, folks, uh, this is just some uh, Tyson baby back ribs. Pick them up at the local grocery store. So let's get these out of the package. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take off this membrane on the back. Some people do that, some people don't. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It's just one of those days where I feel like I want to. All right, and to get that done, Kind of best to start, in my opinion, on this side. Just get under the skin like that. And if you've been living right, you can get it all torn off in one fell swoop. Look at that. Been living right at Cask and Q. Good deal. And today we're going to be using, let me get this dirty hand taken care of. Today we're going to be using a uh, Count Porcula, the rub, you can see that, you can see that. Um, it's a local barbecue joint here in uh, Little Rock, and I happen to really enjoy that rub. Um, I put it in a shaker just to make it easier to apply. So let's get this rub on this rack of ribs. I'm not putting any binder or anything, and I'm not gonna worry too much about the, uh, about the bone side here. Just pat that in. Good to go. Eh, I'm gonna trim up those little scragglers. Like that. I'm not really too worried about it. We're just cooking backyard, backyard style today. All right. All right, here we go. Little Count Porcula rub. Man, that smells awesome. I don't know what all's in that, but it's really good. Everything I'm, I'm using today, I'll put in the description box below. There'll be a link to Count Porcula's Rub too. So get you a little bit of that and let me know what you think. Okay, we're just gonna let this sit out for a while. I'm trying to let the rub sweat into the meat and we'll be back. All right, our smoker's up to about 225, which is about where I want it. I may raise the temperature a little bit later in the cook. So we'll go ahead and get these babies. Ah, uh, baby backs. Okay, terrible joke. We'll get them on the grill. All right, these ribs have been rocking at about 275 to 290 within that range for the last hour and 15 minutes. So I got a little mixture here of apple cider vinegar and uh, water, 50-50 mixture. So we're gonna hit these ribs with a spritz real quick. Color's looking good. A little bit of char on that end, but uh, we'll take care of that. So let's go ahead and spritz these guys on up. And it smells really, really good. These are gonna be delicious. All right, let's let them go for another hour or so. Okay guys, I think it's time to check out these ribs and see if there's some pullback on the bones. If, if there is, we're gonna wrap them in some aluminum foil and let them braise in its own liquid until they're ready. Let's take a look. Yep, they look about ready to me. See some of the bones there starting to pull back. We've got great color on them. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them while we got that really nice color and uh, stick them in some aluminum foil. Be right back. All right, let's get this rack off of here. 
close that so that it doesn't heat up on us. Go ahead and hit it with some apple cider vinegar. Let that steam. Tell you what, let's roll that over and get some more down here. Give it kind of a tangy profile. And while we're at it, we may as well hit it with some more Count Forcula rub. We'll just place that down on the aluminum foil. And go ahead and apply a little bit more on the rack of ribs there. All right, we'll call that good. Flip her over. And we're just gonna wrap it up. Be careful not to let the, uh, the, the bones poke through the aluminum foil. That can happen. If, that's why I like to use that heavy duty stuff. Don't buy the cheap aluminum foil. Always use heavy duty. Okay, and we'll cook these uh, meat side down. Put them back on the smoker. Here we go. Folks, these things are beautiful. Let's roll these over a little bit. The juice is coming off that. Oh man. So what I think I'm gonna do is hit it with a little more seasoning. I'm gonna leave this for later because that's just gonna be delicious. That's a battle the flies over that stuff. All right, so I'm gonna hit this with a little more rub. Okay. A little more rub. Back on the smoker, meat side up. Be very careful because they're kind of fall apart tender at this point. Let those go for 15 minutes. That's what we got. Perfect color, perfect pull back on the bones. I think these are gonna be awesome. Okay, we got these guys plated. Uh, as you can see, the color is perfect. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can see that on video. So what we'll do is flip these guys over. That gives me a better angle when it comes time to cutting so I can see the bones that way. See that bone right there is poking through, isn't it? Sorry for the noise there. My cutting board is not with me today. Let's see what we have here. Looks like a meaty, juicy baby back rib. Plenty of moisture. Still hot. Let's take a bite. Oh my God. Perfect bite. Not quite fall off the bone, just the way I like it. Oh man, sweet from that uh, Count Porcula rub is coming through along with some spicy, some spicy notes. Uh, the tang from the apple cider vinegar is there. The moisture is on point. Uh, the really, really juicy as you can see here. I mean, just phenomenal. All right, guys, there you have it. Baby back ribs, backyard style, simple, no fuss, and delicious. Next time you think about doing ribs and you think that may maybe I can't do that in the backyard, you can do it. All you have to have is a smoker, a grill, and some time. These took about four hours, and they're ready for dinner, and it's going to be perfect. Hey, if you like what we're doing here, be sure and subscribe to the channel. Um, and also smash that, uh, that bell down there in the corner. That'll notify you every time that I upload a new video. So thanks for stopping by Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat.